Hello all you lovely people and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the latest Lenovo Legion driver on your Legion Go. Now, the driver version that you're checking out right now is actually an Ally driver. So this is your ROG Ally driver, which is 25.10.13.11, and this is released on the 21st of July 2025. And this is, uh, I would say, uh, at the same time, this was at the same time as the latest Legion Go driver. But here's the thing. The latest Legion Go driver only came out in their Chinese website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link all the information in my description box. So feel free to check the description box as well. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install that particular driver. Now, here's the thing. If you are coming from stock drivers, then uh, you don't need to do anything. Um, you just need to install the driver by downloading the uh, exe file from the description box. However, if you have side loaded any other driver, like I have in my case, then the process is different because you'll have to clean the system first and you will have to take out any uh, parts or anything that has to do with this driver before you can finally get onto the official Legion Go driver. So therefore, you need something called DDU uninstaller, and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing in today's video. So this video is applicable for all those people who have side-loaded any other driver apart from the stock Legion Go drivers. So with that said, let's jump right into it. The first thing you would need is the DDU app, which is the Display Driver Uninstaller. Now, why do you need this? Because when you install any display driver, what happens is it creates a folder here in your main directory, your main C drive. So what you need to do is use the DDU to remove all remnants of parts of this particular folder. In fact, it will delete this folder altogether. So you will do a clean installation of that new driver. So that's what we want to aim. And this is one of the prerequisites that you need for this type of installation, DDU or DD uninstaller. The other thing that you would need is this exe file. Now, the link to download this will be in my description box. And the reason why I put up a link, a G Drive link, is because um, this is available on the Chinese Lenovo Legion Go site. So the issue is, in a lot of geographies, like in mine, I am from India, uh, I just cannot get the site to open up from India because you know there are a lot of restrictions here on Chinese apps and Chinese websites. Therefore, I cannot access that. So what I've done is, if you are from a place like mine, you would need this file. So I will upload this to a G drive and share the link in the, in the description box. So feel free to download it from there. So only two requisites, DDU uninstaller and this. So now we are about to take the first step and clean the system first, because right now the display driver version that I'm on is the 25.10.13.11, and this is the stock Ally driver. So let's begin the process of uninstalling the drivers. And for that, you would need to get into your settings. You would need to go over to Windows Update. You would need to uh, go over to your advanced options. And here in the advanced options, go over to Recovery. And in Recovery, you need to go to Advanced Startup. And from here, you need to click on restart now. So let's do the first step and then we'll use the DDU uninstaller to in uninstall the app, the AMD display driver, I'm sorry. Now I might forward some portions of this video just so that you don't have to spend as much time on it because it does take some time to reboot, reload and all that stuff. And as I'm doing all of this, I might do a commentary on top so that I can assure you that um, this is all a standard process, nothing to be worried about. I've done this many times, so it's pretty simple. Now, from here, you need to choose an option. Now, let me just tilt my screen one quick second. I'm going to go back, tilt my screen this way. And here you have it. Okay, so here you have some options. Click on Troubleshoot, click on Advanced Options, click on Startup Settings, and from here, click on 
restart. Now, once you do that, you will again have a blue screen. So the first thing that you need to do is get your system to boot up in safe mode. That's what you're trying now, okay? So here you have certain options and I'm gonna tilt it again. So this video is gonna have a lot of tilting of the Legion Go. Yeah, you have it. And I'm not cutting out these bits because this is pretty natural, okay? This is what you're gonna be facing as well. So you need to enable safe mode. That's number four. Click on the screen. You will get a keyboard on the side. Click on number four. That's the option to get into safe mode or boot your Legion Go in safe mode. So now, when you boot your Legion Go in safe mode, there's a very good chance that the orientation of your Legion Go might change. And that again is pretty normal, nothing to be worried about. So let me just put up my password and come back. Just give me one quick second. Like I told you, your display orientation will change. So in case it does, just go to your display settings and go over to your orientation settings and you will change it again. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my DDO uninstaller. So I had stored it in my downloads folder. So it should be right about here. So what you need to do is run this DDU driver uninstaller. Now, once you run it, all you need to do is just click on this GPU and the rest will happen automatically. What you need to do is just click on this clean and restart, that's it. And the system itself will reboot again. Let me just decrease the brightness of the screen. Oh, it won't happen in safe mode. <laughs> In that case, I'll try to reduce the ISO so that the screen is not too bright. So you'll be able to read the text properly. So just let it do its own thing. I mean, let it run its course and the system will restart once it has uninstalled the AMD display drivers. So you're doing a clean, clean <laughs> um, installation for your display driver. So I'm gonna let it run. I'm gonna forward this bit very quickly. So once you have let it run its course, the system will restart again. And again, the orientation will change. But I, let me assure you that this is all pretty normal. Nothing to be worried about. I'm just gonna put in my code, hold on and your system will restart again. In case your display orientation is a little messy here, just go over to your display settings. I'm gonna shut this off, this is not needed. I'm gonna go over to display settings. Here you go, orientation, landscape flipped. I'm gonna keep this and this is fine. So what has happened now is when I right click, I don't have any AMD software here, no adrenaline showing up here because obviously we have deleted the AMD display driver. And you remember how we had that AMD folder here? No AMD folder here. So this is done. By the way, one more thing. If you wanna make sure that there are no updates running in the background, it is also recommended that you turn your Wi-Fi off. Okay, you should have done this in the first place. Sorry about this. Turn your Wi-Fi off before you start the process. That's what I will recommend. Now what I'll do is, I will head into the downloads folder again. This is the exe file. I'm gonna double click it. And I'm gonna install this file now. I accept, yes, next, install, next, install, yes. So do a simple installation. Now you see, the process for installing these different display drivers is different. Therefore, I make these videos. I wish there was this universal, standardized way of downloading and installing these drivers, but there isn't. <laughs> so different display drivers require different installation methods. And therefore, I've made this video. So it can get a little confusing, but please make sure that you do not skip any part of this video, even two, three seconds actually matters. 
I've heard some people come back in the comment section and say that it did not work for them. It's simply because you may have skipped some part of the video. Please don't do that. So it gives you a message that the AMD software has been installed properly. We are not done yet, but we are almost there. Now the display orientation again will change. Nothing to worry about. It's all standard process. So in case it does just keep going back to your landscape display orientation so now we are almost there you need to do a quick restart of your machine before we progress any further so let me restart my machine and come back so i have rebooted my legion go let me just quickly adjust it here and you would now again need your internet connectivity back so turn your internet connectivity back on It'll come back all right so now what you need to do is right click and you would see there is still no AMD software here what you need to go to next is your app store your microsoft app store go over to downloads and you need to update your amd adrenaline software now in case amd software does not show up here just click on check for updates now, once you do that, I mean, it varies on your internet connectivity as well. Mine seems to be taking a long time. So once it checks, it will come up with all the apps that you need to update. AMD software will be one of them. So your Radeon software will show up here, as I was telling you. Sometimes it shows up immediately. Sometimes it takes some time. So just have patience. It will definitely show up. So now that I have AMD Radeon software shown up here, it says that it has been updated. So now what I need to do, it's always recommended that you restart the system, but I'm not restarting it. It is showing me my AMD Adrenaline software here. As you can see, let me click on that. Let me open it. Up. Yeah, just skip this. And as you can see, I now have 25.10.20.01. And this was released on the 1st of 7th, 2025. So this is your Legion Go driver. Now, prior to this, when I started this video, I had an Ally driver working on my Legion Go. And the process to sideload that was different. So this is a little different to that <laughs> okay but this works so now i have successfully installed your latest legion go stock display driver and hopefully if you have followed every single step of mine then you should be able to see the same version of this driver and this driver will give you access to afmf 2.1 obviously so here i was playing dying like the beast and here it gives me access to all the AFMF 2.1 settings, as you can see. And the process is pretty simple. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It is a very straightforward process, nothing too complicated. But again, I will recommend not to skip any part of the video. Watch every single second and you should be able to install this driver without any issues. In case you have any problems, you can always reach out to me via the comment section. I'd be happy to help out wherever I can. With that said, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And in case you have, do consider hitting that like and subscribe button and also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. I do make videos like this on Legion Go, software installations, on games where I review them, where I have gameplay videos, and I also have product and items being reviewed of course, products and items related to gaming, that is, on my channel. So feel free to check out all my other content on my channel video list. But as far as this one goes, it's a wrap for this one. I will see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.